Hello guys, take a look at the screen. Does this seem familiar to you? If so, I will show you a better solution, Laradoms, an app that can log all of your debugging information without interrupting the work. And it works with many things, queries, markdown, routes, mailables, and so much more. It's simple to install, you just need two things. First, a desktop application, and it supports all the popular operating systems, macOS, Linux, and Windows. There's a detailed guide on how to install them, and in some cases, even debugging information on how to fix if something goes wrong. Then we need a package. You can choose Laravel for Laravel projects, or a PHP package for any other PHP project. Just go to your terminal and paste the command. Once the package is installed, we need to run PHP artisan ds init. This will create a configuration file and we're ready to go and change the code. To do this, it's really simple. Imagine you have a DD or dump somewhere in your application. You just click on it and replace it with DS. Save the file, open your web browser and refresh the page. As you can see, there is no more debugging information on our page, but it has been shown on our Laradoms application and the information is exactly the same. It can even auto guess if it's just a single model or a collection of items. Now let's enable some more options. For example, we want queries and mail. Refresh the page and we can see that we got the logs down and we have more queries. If we click on the tab, we can see all of the queries that were there and we can even see all the parameters the time it took to run the query, grouped by the route the queries happened. This window is really similar to the Laravel debug bar by Barry, and we even have a video about it if you want to take a deeper look. But now, what about the mail? If we click on it, there is nothing. First, we need to trigger it, of course. Let's go into some event and click on attend event button. As you can see, we are attending the event and the email has popped up. You can go inside the application, click on the email and get a preview of the email that's gonna be sent. You can resize it based on the device. You can check what information was passed to the email class, what the headers were there and one unique feature is you can open the email inside of your browser. But that's not all. There are still a bunch of small features that you can use. For example, we can go into our code, type ds, table, and write attending events. Save the file, open our browser, go back to the triggering page, and we can see a really nice table that's printed out for us. This will include the same information as we have in the collection, but in a nicer table format, which is even searchable. Of course, not everything is perfect and the tool is with limited usage. It works with only Laravel or PHP, so that means that there's no JavaScript dumps, no special tools around other languages. But one thing that the tool has is LiveWire support. We can go into our LiveWire class, add the simple DS attribute, and from there we will see profiling information, properties, and queries. Now, that said, it still has its unique use cases. For example, we have our event controller and the store method. When storing an event, we want to dump all of the request information on the screen to see that it's correct. This is all fine and this is typically how it's done. You can even have dump or dd, but this will interrupt your request or the information will not be visible. So let's try the dump. We will go to our event creation, fill out the event details, and press create event. Did you catch that? There was a slight pop-up of the debug information, but that doesn't help us. We couldn't read it. It was gone way too fast. And of course, you might say that DD is better in this case, but DD will stop the code from running. Now, let's try to do the same, but this time with the DS function. We once again filled an event form and submitted the event. This time, we didn't see any interruptions in our workflow, but the debug information is visible in the application. This is pretty cool and it can improve your debugging workflows, especially because you can add DS in multiple places and then track where the events happened and where the debugging information came through. But you have to remember that this is still a debugger, which means that we have to add a bunch of DS code into our application. And as always, we should never push this code into our production environment especially because the package is installed as a dev dependency, not a production dependency. So to fix that, there's a special command. If we go into our terminal and add vendor bin laradoms check their app resources and routes, which you can customize based on your needs, click on it, we can see that it lists all of the DS usages. Each of them is an error and you immediately know that there's some leftover code. This should be removed and not present in your application. 
Another way to solve this is to use PestPHP's architecture testing. In this case, we expect our app directory not to use any of the die, td, dump, or in this case, specifically ds. If we go into our terminal and write php artisan test, we can see that one of our tests failed and specifically architecture tests because app was expecting not to use DS, but there are still some DSs left. Overall, we think that this is a great tool to have in your application for debugging purposes. And since this is an open source project, if you encounter any issues or have suggestions on how to improve it, you can always go to their GitHub repository and submit either issues or create new pull requests with your own features. Finally, Laradums is not the only tool that does similar thing. Another open source package is Laravel Debug Bar. This is a very common tool that you can see in a lot of our videos. Then there is a paid option, Spatteray, which looks similar and the Laradums was inspired by Spatteray and created in a similar fashion. But this tool has a different use case. And if you want to know more, we have a video about it on our YouTube channel. That said, it's not important which tool you want to choose. Everyone has their own opinions and options. So let us know in the comments below, which ones are you using? Do you use Laradums, Pateray, Debug Bar, or maybe do you have anything else that's less popular, but also good for your workflows? 